Hello everybody, my name is Danish and I am going to give an elocution on Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam had a lot of inspirations and they were his teachers, parents and relatives. I am going to speak about how they helped him in his life. Three teachers shaped Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam's thinking their combined contribution formed his future career. The three teachers were Professor Sponder, Professor Kaf Pandala and Professor Narsinghar Rao. Each of them shared a common uh, common impulse, the capacity to feed their students intellectual hunger by sheer brilliance and untiring zeal. His teacher Iyadurai Solomon was a ideal guide. He used to make his students very comfortable in his class by his open-minded and warm attitude. He used to tell that a good student could learn more from a bad teacher than a poor student from even a skilled teacher. He also used to tell that to achieve success and uh, to achieve results in life, you must understand and master three mighty forces, desire, expectation and belief. Uh, Abdul Kalam inherited honesty and self-discipline from his father and faith in goodness and kindness from his mother. But it was the time he spent with Jalaluddin and Shamsuddin that perhaps contributed most to his uniqueness in his childhood and in his later life. One towering influence was his science teacher Shiva Subramaniam Iyer. He did his best to break social barriers so that children from different backgrounds could mingle easily. Now, Abdul Kalam will remain one of the finest human beings to have ever lived. He lived an illustrious and successful life. And his legacy will continue to inspire people around the world in the coming years. Below are uh, some points that do justice to his numerous achievements. After graduating from Madras Institute of Technology, uh, in 1960, Mr. Kalam joined Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO. He designed helicopters for the Indian Army. After he transfer, after he was transferred to the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, Mr. Kalam worked as a project director for SLV-3, India's first indigenous satellite launch vehicle. Uh, in 1980s, he led India's missile program. Under his leadership, India became a major military power after the successes of Agni and Prithvi. Uh, in a rare show of unity, all political parties unanimously voted for Mr. Kalam in 2002 as the 11th President of India. As President, Mr. Kalam personified dignity and optimism throughout India and abroad. His speeches in UN and European Parliament were the best ever given. His simplicity in oration and action were applauded and made him dear to all. Uh, after completion of his term as President, Mr. Kalam became a visiting professor.